I've got the uh, <coughs> two tips, wing tips done, and they, uh, the main wing indexes into the uh, the bottom half uh, with these uh, conduit pipes. <coughs> and I've just made some small wooden boxes and drilled holes in them and connected them to the, the main spar. And uh, you just plug it back in. And I also have a little pin here to help index it so it doesn't wiggle this way. It's pretty, pretty snug. Also the flap, I put two pins in as well. And they have little holes that fit in here. That's to keep this from doing this. This will stay on by putting set screws here and here later on after the skin's on. that will keep everything together and it won't fall off. Working on the hinge pivots right now and what I've done is I made another wooden box and I shaped it to fit in right here. And uh, when the wing is all skinned, I will eventually uh, remove this section of the trailing edge so that I can slip the pivot hinge in there. And what this box allows me to do is slide this hinge in and it can pivot like this. And if I want to change the pivot location, all I have to do is pull it out and now I'm pivoting out here. Or if I don't like that, I can push it in and pivot further in. And that will all change the way that the flap uh, works with the main wing. And I have a feeling that in lighter air, I might want to pull these out just a, just a hair. And then it'll, it'll create more of a camber, more of a smooth camber. And when the wind picks up, I'll push it in. And to captivate it, I'll just drill a hole and pin it with a screw or something like that. And also at the same time, when, when uh, this slides forward and backward, this will be embedded inside the nose of the flap. And you can see it's threaded. And that will make up the distance. We'll just thread it in if I want to come out like that, it's going to push the nose out, so then we got to thread the rod back in and then we'll bring the nose right back in so we can fine tune the gap. This is the uh, blocking for the hound location and uh, it's on the main wing and uh, I'll end up putting some tangs, oh, right here somewhere and then I'll put a, a four stay attachment straight up in there like that. And then up on the tip, there's a block right here that I put in for the uh, pivot bolt or pivot screw for the flap. And then of course we have our, our hinges here. And I'll probably do some corner blocking right here and maybe down here and here and up here. Um, there's the other hinge area, and then there's one more hinge area right here. Um, down here I ended up doubling up this section as well, right here, where the uh, base of the wing is, and I'll have a lot of fasteners coming in here, so I wanted at least double thickness. And uh, after this we got a fair all the ribs in and uh, all the stringers and everything and then uh, I'll be about ready to do the skinning and I have to take some notes also and make sure I know exactly where the hinges are so I can take and cut these later on after it's skinned because I won't be able to see them when it's skinned and also the hound location needs to be marked as well. <coughs> 